Dennis Rodman is a basketball legend. He got this title not only thanks to what he showed on the court, but also because of his many scandals. Did you know that he had to compete with his own sisters to become a basketball player? He also became a celebrity and found a way to multiply his fortune. But now he's lost almost everything. Why is Dennis Rodman almost bankrupt? How did he befriend the leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un? Let's get into this video and find out about Dennis Rodman's messy life. How many stories have you heard about actors, businessmen, and athletes who started from the bottom without having a penny in their pocket, then became successful, earned a huge fortune, and later lost everything? Well, Dennis Rodman's story is definitely unique. I think so because not long after he was born in Trenton, New Jersey, back in May 1961, Dennis's father, Philander, abandoned his mother and moved to the Philippines. Because of that, Dennis's mother Shirley had to take care of him and his sisters Kim and Deborah, working up to four jobs at once. By the way, according to some sources, Dennis's father Philander was quite a ladies' man. So much so that apparently Dennis is one of his 47 children. Although other sources say that he had only 29 children, with barely 16 women. In his childhood, Dennis was in the shadow of his two sisters, and from a very young age, they showed a huge talent for basketball. On the other hand, although you may find it hard to believe because today he's a six-foot-tall giant, in those years, little Dennis was just that, too short to be good in that sport. But when the time came, Rodman started growing and he tried his luck on the basketball court. The rest of the story is known to all basketball enthusiasts. Dennis had one controversial but successful career playing for such iconic teams as the Chicago Bulls with the legend Michael Jordan and for the LA Lakers with Shaq himself. Those years in the NBA generated him a fortune valued at $27.4 million. However, Rodman didn't keep his controversial image only on the pro basketball court. The athlete also tried his luck in American wrestling, mentored by none other than Hulk Hogan. In addition to that, Dennis also appeared on reality shows such as The British Celebrity Big Brother and in 2006 on Love Island, also in the United Kingdom. Not to mention that he won the grand prize of $222,000 on the Celebrity Mall. Add to that the money which he got from advertising a lot of brands and from the publication of his autobiography Bad As I Wanna Be in 1996 and his performance alongside Jean-Claude Van Damme in the 1997 movie Double Team. But despite having generated a million-dollar fortune thanks to all the activities that I've mentioned, according to the sports channel ESPN and their film Dennis Rodman for Better or Worse from their 30 for 30 series, now the former basketball player has only half a million dollars in his bank account. I mean, who wouldn't like that? But the truth is that, for a star like Rodman, that means he's almost bankrupt. But how do you waste a fortune like the one this athlete managed to make? Well, I mentioned before that Dennis has always been an extremely controversial person. Throughout his career, he had to pay a lot of fines. Like that one time when he was fined $250,000 for kicking a cameraman in the crotch. Or when he had to pay a fine of $1 million and was suspended for 11 games. This guy is kind of a mess, to be honest. Not to mention that flirtatious nature that's in his blood. I mean, do you remember his father? So Dennis not only was with the Queen of Pop, Madonna, he even got married three times. First with Annie Bakes, with whom he had a daughter, Alexis. His second wife was the stunning actress, model, and dancer, Carmen Electra. By the way, one time when these two were married, each had to pay a bail of $2,500 after being arrested for domestic disturbance during one of the couple's arguments. Finally, the third time Dennis said yes was with Michelle Moyer with whom he had a son, DJ, or Dennis Jr., and a daughter, Trinity. By the way, speaking of his son, after his separation from Moyer in 2012, she filed a lawsuit against the former basketball player for owing her more than $850,000 in child and spousal support. Rodman could have been sentenced to at least 20 days behind bars, but surprisingly, his lawyers declared him financially unable to pay that sum so he was sentenced to 104 hours of community service. However, his economic situation has not stopped him from associating himself with celebrities. I mean, one thing is that he no longer has the millions he once had, and the other is that he has new friends. One of them is the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. 
But what the hell would one of the most powerful and dangerous men on the planet be doing with the former American basketball player? Well, the story of this unusual friendship goes back to 2013. It turns out that the country's leader was a fan of the Chicago Bulls when he was a child, so the media took matters into their own hands and got these two in touch. Ever since that first visit, these two have become true friends thanks to basketball. Well, rumor has it that Kim's own wife gets jealous when she finds out that the charismatic Dennis Rodman will pay them a visit. But for Dennis, his friendship with the North Korean leader is much more serious because he has come to say that, thanks to the bond that exists between the two, the future of the relationship between the nations that they represent could be more friendly. Do you believe it? Do you think that in addition to being an athlete, actor, and a celebrity, Dennis Rodman is also a diplomat promoting peace? Do you think he will recover from his bad financial situation? Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to become a part of the Curiosips family. Until next time.